Throughout my day, I really like to go to different places to work or to actually just move around a lot. I like going up and playing football. I like going to cafes to do a bit of revision and to do a bit of study, to do a bit of work. So you need a kind of application that's able to monitor your t notes throughout your day. So I use Evernote throughout my day. If you haven't watched any of my uh, videos, Evernote is my default application for monitoring notes throughout my day, ideas, things like that. But sometimes you do need that extra feature uh, in Evernote to call places where you actually attach your uh, concepts, your ideas, your notes throughout the day to places so that you have some relevance. So in this review, uh, in this like episode, I'm going to be reviewing Idea Places. And this is a, a fairly new application. They've been around for a year now. And what it does is essentially bringing ideas uh, and places together in one place. So... As you can see here, uh, first thing I'm met with is an experience uh, of a map and it showcases all the notes and where I've actually taken them. Uh, so for example, if you can see, uh, <laughs> it's locating in Plymouth, I actually do most of my work in Plymouth because I'm based in Plymouth. And it showcases that the notes are all in Plymouth. That's 338 notes are in Plymouth. But it also shows lots of little dots of where I've been in the past. And that is really useful because I can go in and I can find all of the notes that I've got relevant to these places. So I'm, you know, I might be on the train and I might have written this one and I needed to specifically uh, need to find where that one is. So I can go in there and I can view all those notes based on that and I can scroll down and see which ones I want. So that's really cool, but on top of this, I can actually start making notes. So if I click this, I can actually start creating notes. Um, and then I can add photos, I can insert photos, add tags, change the notebook. So if I said, uh, you know, hey, uh, Francesco, uh, I spelled Francesco wrong. I will endeavor not to spell my name wrong. And then what I can do is tap this and actually choose the location that I want to uh, say, let's say I want to arrive specifically uh, if I want the note to jump out at me when I arrive in this spot. Um, what it will do is it will actually uh, notify me on the application. So it's kind of like a location reminder application that embeds with your notes. So you can, you know, you can do it with uh, 300 meters, a kilometer away from it, and even departing a specific location. So I can save that and it'll actually go into my Evernote notebook. So it's almost like a, a third party Evernote application. And on top here, you can filter out uh, all the kind of uh, notebooks you use, which is pretty useful. So you can see all the specific notebooks that I did for economics, where I was, you know, it could be, you know, where I was sat in class when I needed to. So let's just go into here. You know, ooh, these are all the uh, economic uh, notebooks. This is all my notes that I've done for economics. And this is all the locations that I've actually done uh, those economic notes and those uh, bah buyer behavior notes. So, you know, that's pretty cool. Having an application where it exactly pinpoints all the information you need to know. Along up here, you've got the ability to see, uh, you can filter it by photos, Evernote, and even your address book. So it detects what's in your address book. And, you and then I can also filter it through map type. So I've got Apple, um, I've got Google. I'd probably go with Google, to be honest. Uh, just click into this one. I'd probably go with Google because it looks slightly better. Actually, weirdly, this doesn't look as good as the Google on other things. Anyway, I'll just nip back to Apple. You can also go on the offline map application. Uh, sorry, it's just having problems with focus there. You can also choose this hybrid. So you can kind of see <laughs> visually where you took those notes. And also satellite. And then you can actually pinpoint the exact location you took those notes throughout your day. Uh, in the settings, you have the ability to change the image size, default notebook, audio quality. You know, you're you're using this as your Evernote on the go and tagging them to specific locations. So this is a third party Evernote application at heart. It will automatically place the text and you can change the pin colors. Also, you can add your Dropbox, which is pretty cool, which allows you to kind of go a bit deeper on the information you've got. And I mean, you know, I've been talking to Cyprian, the guy who um, I believe is in charge of this application. And he said that there's a lot of potential to go a lot deeper with this information. Um, and as you can see, I've made <laughs> it's very accurate on the actual location of the notes that I've done them. So uh, it's very, very cool in the way that um, 
it's working. So as you can see, um, very useful information throughout my day. And I can even go into search and uh, really find exactly where I did something and when I did it. Uh, pretty creepy, but pretty cool. And again, you can use this feature down at the bottom. If you lift it up, you have the ability to go in and go deeper and find out every single note you've ever written and where you wrote it. So um, actually, I just got a message. I better be watching Google I.O. Um, so I've got to go. That's my kind of notification to say go and my battery is dying. So and actually a guy in the previous review said that uh, it was fun to watch my battery go down. Sorry, it's at 16. It wasn't at like 10 last time when it was all about to die. This application is available on the App Store. Uh, it's really useful. It's really fun to play with. Look out for idea places. Go and check it out. Uh, it's a pretty fun application. Evernote support it. I support it. I'm going to start using it. I'm going to start giving it a go. And I hopefully that was a good review. And I'll see you guys soon. Thanks very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and tweet me uh, for any other videos. Thanks very much.